Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another edition of Bite Size Reviews. If you haven't seen the series before, what I do is pick a couple of samples to use every two weeks or so, and just get use out of my samples, because between all the makeup that I've bought over the last couple of months slash year, I've... <laughs> amassed quite the uh, the collection of samples and I used to think that I would save these for traveling but I've traveled several times and I never bring any of this stuff with me so it's still product it can still be used and it can still be tested this is based heavily on LS one of my favorite youtubers and her sample Sunday series which of course I will have her channel and series linked down below so before we jump into the products that I picked out a couple weeks ago, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this series, and if you haven't and you'd like to, I hope you will consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post any new videos every single Monday through Friday. So the first sample that I picked out was one that I didn't think I would get a whole lot of use out of, but I was half right. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 16 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation Sample. So they give you three shades up here, two lighter ones and a deeper one right over here. And they also gave you a sample of the Photo Finish Primer. I actually, so there was enough primer in here for a full use, which shocked me. So I used it. I do like this primer. I think it's really, really expensive for primer, which as someone who just recently fell in love with the Tatcha primer, I shouldn't be talking too much about it. But it's a good silicone based primer. I just think you can get the same thing for cheaper from other brands. And unfortunately, there was only enough product in little bubbles for a swatch. I couldn't even use it as concealer. So I found out that, of course, I would be closer to the lightest shade in this range. But I would be interested in picking up an actual sample of this, maybe from Sephora or from Ulta, because I'm definitely leaning more towards hydrating foundations, now that we're really, really dry, than I am towards like matte foundations. Next, I picked a sample of the Pore Professional Primer. This is from Benefit. Again, there actually was enough primer in here for a full use, and I did use this all over my face. I normally don't do that, but I didn't think the product would be good if I left it open like that, so I just used up the whole thing. Uh, again, I do like this primer. I just think it's really, really expensive, <laughs> and that you can find similar, if not better, things from the drugstore. Oh boy, let's talk about this foundation. <laughs> So this is a foundation from Armani. This is the Face Fabric Second Skin Makeup. I had two shades here, shade two and shade 5.5. Uh, shade 2 was actually a little light for me, and of course shade 5 was way too deep for me, so I mixed them, and even with mixing them, I had to add in a white mixer and a little bit of my uh, Cover FX drops to make it a little bit more golden, because when I mixed them, I got a very, very like cool undertone, which I've got a warm undertone, I couldn't wear that, and I, I really didn't like how this foundation applied. <laughs> I didn't. Um, I did try a little bit without mixing just to see how it sat on my skin and it sat the same way it did after I mixed in the white mixer. Let me just show you the texture because I mixed this on my palette and I left a little bit on there so you can kind of see. It's like a clumpy foundation. I don't know if maybe my samples weren't good, but it came out very clumpy like a... I don't even think I have a foundation to compare this to. So I, I didn't like the texture. It's not sitting well on my skin at all. I, I like I really like want to wash this off. I don't like this at all. Um, I've tried out other Armani foundations and loved the way that they've sat on my skin, uh, but not this one. So the face fabric I would worn away from. It just doesn't look good on any part of my face. I don't like the texture. I don't like the way it feels. It's not even full coverage because like all of this is like my redness like peeking through because it wasn't full coverage and I layered it too and just, uh, I really didn't like it. Next I tried out a cleanser from Glam Glow and this is the Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. I really didn't like this. It didn't make my skin feel clean. It, uh, I don't know, it just, the, the texture, it, it didn't really like cleanse. I don't know, I felt like I was putting like a, a cleansing oil on but not rinsing it off. So after I used this, I did go in and use my regular cleanser just because I felt like, ugh, didn't like it. Next, I tried a mask from Tata Harper. This is the resurfacing mask for instant glow. I liked this. It didn't, well, I, I won't say it gave me an instant glow, but it felt like a nice resurfacing mask. I did feel exfoliated and I liked the way my skin felt afterwards, but knowing how expensive this is, I wouldn't ever buy it. Just, uh, I can't. Um, but it did feel nice. It didn't irritate my skin at all. It was just something nice to try out. Next, I tried a 
cream from Youth to the People. This is the Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Age Prevention Moisture Cream. Now, it says use after serum, put a small amount into palm and rub hands together. I do use serums morning and night, but even after putting this on, my skin felt like it wasn't moisturized enough. Like I, it felt, I felt too dry and kind of tight after using this moisture cream. So I ended up having to go in with another moisturizer on top of it. So just being that I wouldn't try it out again, I do need a certain level of moisture, even though I do have combo skin and it, it didn't feel good anywhere on my skin. Next, I have an eye balm from Alginist. This is the Complete Eye Renewal Balm. So it's just an eye cream. You really can't test out an eye cream. It takes like months to really like get a feel for it. Um, but this did feel nice on my skin. It wasn't too heavy. But I, again, I feel like I'm at a point where I don't really need eye creams. Maybe I should look into them because I feel like by the time I'm 30, I should probably start using an eye cream, right? I mean, I do have fine lines under my eyes and they've been there for a while and I've had bags since I was a teenager. So I feel like it, it didn't really do anything to immediately change my under eye area, but again, you can't really tell that much from a sample of that size. I think it was technically a use and a half, but I used the whole thing up because I didn't know how it would last in an open sample like that. Last but not least, I had a foundation that I actually loved. And one thing is keeping me from like buying this other than the fact that I have a bunch of foundation. Um, so this is the Lancome Tent Idole Ultra Wear Foundation. I had the shades 260 and 220 and I mixed them together to get a shade that matched me. This actually felt like a second skin. It looked gorgeous just sitting on my skin. It was full coverage. The only thing I didn't like is that this oxidized like high holy hell. Oh my god, I looked orange like a Cheeto by the end of the day. So I don't know if I could, uh, I just, I loved the way it sat on my skin. Even when I was orange, I looked a pretty Cheeto. I was a very pretty Cheeto. Smooth, no pores, no lines. Ah, oh, just, do I want to look like a pretty Cheeto? Anyway, so this was a pack of four. So I do have the two other shades. I'm going to see if I can finagle those and maybe if I use a ton of my white mixer I can keep it but but it, it did it did oxidize so sad because this looked amazing on my skin all right guys let's go and pick some more samples okay so I picked out quite a few things let's see what we got first I have a Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer sample and this looks like a flat card with there's a bunch of these. I got three of them, but I really don't think I could get any use out of them because the bubbles are really small. But maybe if I use all three, I could get enough use to actually try out this concealer. So I will give it a shot. Next, I picked up the same Youth to the People cream. I'm not going to use this because I know I don't like it. I'm going to pass that along. Next, I picked up a Facial Radiance Polish from First Aid Beauty. So this is for sensitive skin. It's an exfoliator. So interesting. Can't wait to try that out. Next, I picked up a hydrating cream from Mur Murad? 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 Anyway, it looks pretty nice. Looks like it's step three. I see there's a number three up here, so they probably have a whole line, kind of like Clinique, but I will try this out and see how I like it. This is the cutest little sample I've ever seen. Let me open the box. <laughs> Just tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. So this was actually for sale at Ulta. I picked up a little like mini size of this foundation from Benefit. This is the Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. And I love the idea of having like minis for sale like this because you can try it out. If you like it, use it for a bit. If not, not too much of an investment because it, it was a couple of dollars. I got shade two, which I think is going to be pretty close to me, but I cannot wait to try this out. And I just, I love this bottle. Look how cute it is. Next, I have a sample from Shanta Kai. I got this the last time I actually went in store and picked something up. This is the Rose de Mai Cream. I think it's an eye cream. Does it, is it heavily scented? Oh, it's, it's actually, oh, I've never seen a sample like sealed like that before. Interesting. So I'm going to Google it just to make sure I'm using the right thing, but I'm pretty sure this is an eye cream. Next, I have a sample that I believe I've gotten before. This is from Bite Beauty, and this is just some samples of their agave lip mask, which I love. So we've got a red one, we've got a clear one, and we've got a pink one. 
Next, I got a styling treatment from Living Proof. Now, I don't know if I can use this since I've gone curly girl, because the directions are to apply to damp hair and then blow dry. So I have to look at the ingredients and make sure there's nothing that's like anti-curly girl in here before I try it out. Last but not least, I got a lip product from NARS. So this is the Power Matte Lip Pigment, and I believe it's like that light pink shade right there. Let's see, how, how big are you? Oh, this is interesting. So it's like a single use kind of. Oh, so you like you twist it and it's like a little. Oh, okay, that's that's cute. I like this. Cannot wait to try it out. So those are all the products that I'm going to be using over the next two weeks. Again, I do try to put this up every two weeks on Monday. So don't forget to check back if you would like to see my review on all these little samples that we just picked up. Thank you for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.